Hello, I'd like to spend a few moments and give you a short demonstration about our VBooks and the VBook technology and show you how you can use it uh, if you're a CAD manager, an IT manager, how you can use this to document and promote your, your standards. Uh, IT can use it uh, for training, CAD managers can use it for training. You can use our content or you can actually create your own content and put it into the system. So I'm going to get right to it. i got a, a short amount of time. I want to keep this real short, so I'm going to go through it real quickly. If you have any questions at the end, you can feel free to contact us. Um, but basically what it is, it's an way, a great way to organize knowledge and information. And underneath this entire interface, that's really what it is. It's a knowledge management, uh, information management tool. The books that you see, we call V-books or virtual books. They are actually knowledge databases or knowledge um, information in, in a database. We put the information in the form of a book because everybody knows how to use a book. We then created what we call our virtual office which is basically the knowledge database organizational interface. So here you can see I have a ton of books. Uh, uh, all kinds of content that is being developed, that's currently developed. There's different types of knowledge in these books. But basically this is all information that I may need throughout my daily uh, work operation. And the information, instead of it being in one big bucket that I gotta sift through, everybody has those junk drawers, right? You have to open up the junk drawer, find that, that piece you need. But if you had drawers that could organize all that information, such as we have here, you have books that organize all your information. It makes it easier for me to go pull that book off the shelf, open it up and look at it. And within that, office I have the ability to cross search all these books so I can organize at my shelves and put content on different shelves but let's take a look at the book the book can deliver any type of information or knowledge you can see here these are civil 3d books in this civil 3d book we have content such as training so this one shelf down here is our civil 3d training course this is a three-day course same course that I would teach you if you hired me as a consultant to come in and teach you for three days I've captured that information put it in this book or in these books and it's actually a course so when I click on that what you're gonna see much like I'm talking to you is you're gonna see a book frame and in that book frame you've got a table of contents you've got the uh, page in the middle and you have an index over here behind me but when I actually click on one of these um, pages over here in the book, you'll see that it's actually giving you the lecture component of my class. So you get this sense of somebody actually teaching you, talking to you, you get that user interface. So it really comes as close as possible to live training as one could get. In the course, we also provide assignments. So you can go ahead and do assignments. And we even also have a, an exam. So if you wanna test your user's knowledge, have them take the exam. If you have a user that uh, comes to you and says, hey, I'm, you know, I'm civil 3D trained, buy the exam, have them take the exam. It's a 20 question, 15 to 20 question, 25 question test that will self grade and it will tell you whether or not he really knows or she really knows civil 3D. And we have that for all other kinds of courses as well. We have a sur surveyor's course, we have an engineering surveying course, or AutoCAD for engineers and surveyors, we have a geospatial and a map 3D course. We also have a hydraulics and hydrology course. So you can see that in my office, I have a ton, ton of books. Now, will you have all these books? Not necessarily. There's books in here uh, that don't pertain to CAD. They pertain to projects. So we can use this as a project book. I have a, a customer here that I'll go ahead and I'll click on the shelf. And in this shelf, what they have here is an actual project book. So if I go into um, this old trail document book, it's gonna open up the V-book and think of this as your, your project binder, right? Within that project binder, you have uh, PDF files, you have correspondence, you have all kinds of stuff. I can capture it all, put it in this V-book. It becomes a, a very easy to use um, three ring binder, and, but it's all digital. I don't have this binder that I have to go and find and who has the, the project workbook. You can actually put all that information in the V-book. It sits on the shelf with the rest of my V-books and I have access to those V-books. And again, like I said, it's all searchable. So if I just have this shelf open and I use the search bar, I can go ahead and search 
these five books that you see sitting here in front of me. But if I want to, I can then go out here and I can turn on, maybe I want to look at the hydrology course. Well, there's a hydrology information, hydrology course. Um, the other one is your CAD manager. Let me open up this one here, turn on the shelf. Is It's a great way to document your CAD standards. So like you see here, I have one for South Carolina state kit. So in this state kit is all the civil 3D um, content. So I can go and distribute the drawing templates, the, you know, the information that pertains to this particular organization. So if, again, if you're a CAD manager, why not create a virtual CAD standards manual instead of just having a PDF that's posted on a website? Because here, in, in trying to organize a website, here I have all my information. So if I go to tool palettes and I click on, let's say road improvements, there's an image. But again, going to tool palettes, I can incorporate video into your CAD standards. It tells people, instead of them having to read it, it actually tells them how to use that style, how to use that standard. So it becomes a more robust CAD standards manual. And like I said, you, you as a CAD manager can actually put content in these books. We basically provide you the distribution tool. You can use our content. You can take and create your own content. If you want to capture your content, like I'm capturing this here, you want to use Camtasia screen captures, just images and text, you can use that too. But you got to look at the total distribution tool that we have here and the way that we can organize it. I have one user login, one area that I have to go to. I don't have to search a bunch of blogs. I don't have to search you know, Facebook or Twitter, all these other uh, tools that are out there. And I'm not saying they're not valuable, but they are. But this really streamlines the access to information and lets me get it a whole lot faster. And the amount of information or the type of information I can put in here is a lot more robust than what you're going to get on a blog. Because again, video, I can talk more in a video than I can try to write uh, in, a, in a blog and have to read it and find it and then go back and find it later when I need it. I can always come back and search not only the office, but the individual books. All right, so just to show you the, the authoring side where it's, it's really easy to do this is if I was to come into a particular book and as an author, I have the ability to just go into the author side. So again, if you buy the blank book, we'll give you a blank or sell you a blank book. You can go into the blank book and all you have to do is click on this button here to add a page so when you come in here you put in the page title put in description keywords and then you've got a nice little uh, user interface that lets you enter text lets you upload images upload video audio files and even documents and information and then you just hit save and there's a lot of other features I just don't have time to go into in this short presentation but there's a lot more capability so this is not just vbooks are not just a a real fancy way to distribute video. There, it's actually a knowledge management system that is, is just about turnkey for any organization. Like I said, we already have a, a lot of content on AutoCAD products, uh, Revit, Inventor, uh, Civil 3D, Surveying, um, brought to you by uh, instructors who have been doing this, the instruction for many years. They know the product really well. Um, we have what we call application books is also and in these application books, they, are, they dig deeper into the actual features of Civil 3D. We have a book on AutoCAD for MicroStation users, a book on coordinate systems that dive deeper and provide more information and knowledge. So again, lots of different uses. Um, we're always looking for instructors who want to create a book. Um, again, it, it's pretty simple to do. This, obviously, the, the video and how you capture the video, we will help you with that. We will help you author the book, guide the book or guide you through the creation of the book. And then it's really, we have the distribution system for you. So I went through that rather quickly, just wanted to give a real short demonstration, a quick introduction about how we're using the VBooks to support our customers. We have thousands of customers around the world who are using the VBooks. Um, they're real easy to use, real simple user interface, but it is, it's a lot more than just throwing CD or videos on YouTube or on a DVD or putting, posting them on a website. It's actually an entire system for managing knowledge and information and distributing it out to the end user. And if you have any more questions, feel free to contact uh, myself. Uh, it's mike at apw-cts.com. Thank you.